Welcome to the 2020 Telstra National Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander Art Awards. I'm your host, Brooke Boney, and I'd like to begin by acknowledging the traditional custodians of country throughout Australia. We pay our respects to Elders past, present and emerging, and extend our respect to all Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples today. I'd also like to acknowledge the Larrakia people on whose land the Telstra National Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander Art Awards is held each year. Telstra Natsia is Australia's longest running and most prestigious art awards for Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander artists. For the past 37 years, these awards have been hosted by the Museum and Art Gallery of the Northern Territory in Darwin. During this time, they've provided a unique platform for so many talented Indigenous artists. And shortly, we'll recognise seven more by announcing this year's winners. With artists from the coast, the deserts, the bush and the bustling cities, this really is the art of the nation. But before we get to that, I'd like to thank Telstra for supporting Natsia for the past 29 years. The gallery's director, Marcus Shetenko, has a few words to share on this year's awards. I am very excited about this special moment that Magnet is sharing with audiences around the world. You can explore the incredible artworks of this year's Telstra Natsia finalists on our virtual gallery on this site. Not only will you experience the artworks, but you will learn about the artists and their stories. I congratulate all the finalists of this year's Telstra Natsia and encourage you to vote for the Telstra People's Choice Award on this site. And if you're visiting Darwin in the coming months, please call into the gallery and see the works in person. Back to you, Brooke. Thank you, Marcus. Tonight, I'll be presenting awards across seven categories with an incredible $50,000 prize for the big one, the Telstra Art Award. So let's begin. Our first award is the 2020 Telstra Bath Painting Award, celebrating an art form that's long been an integral part of the Telstra Natsia. There were truly amazing entries this year, but the 2020 winner is Manula Manungur. On a single piece of bark, Manula has used clan designs to create the impression of multiple small paintings that tell the story of a particular place, fish traps and ancestral hunters in Mungoi Miri. Sitting down and doing like on the small bark first, I changed my work, like to do like biggest square ones, those big bark, but it's about the same story about fresh water, but different way of style. I, will. I love painting because I learned with my family and with my dad. Congratulations, what an incredible work and a well-deserved award. Our next award is the 2020 Telstra Works on Paper Award. This category includes photography, printmaking, painting and drawing. The winner of this year's award is Illawanti Ken. Illawanti's compelling image of eagles hunting teaches Ananyu women important lessons about caring for children, building strong shelter, providing food and, most importantly, protecting them. Oh, God, wow. And Elwand is saying about um, she was feels good that, that he won. Congratulations. Now we move on to the Wanjuk Madaka 3D Memorial Award sponsored by Telstra, which was named after the artist and advocate Wanjuk Madaka. An amazing array of entries were received this year. A heartfelt congratulations to the 2020 winner, Jenna Lee. Created in response to the 250th anniversary of the arrival of Lieutenant James Cook, History Vessels seeks to reclaim agency of the historic representation of Aboriginal people. Winning the Wanjak Marika 3D Memorial Award is such an incredible honour. I'm so happy. I still feel really overwhelmed. It's incredibly hard to process. 
having my name beside so many talented artists who've come before me. I love that art gives me the ability to tell a story I want to tell and place it in a narrative that I think is important. I also love the ability to make sure that people like myself feel included in the visual national identity of Australia. And I really hope that my art is open and welcoming enough that it can help shift perspectives and ultimately change opinions. Congratulations again. Our next category is the Telstra Multimedia Award, which celebrates multidisciplinary and digital works. And the 2020 winner chosen by the judges this year is Sienna Mayuta Wamari Stubbs. At 18 years of age, Sienna is the youngest finalist in this year's awards. Her video work, Shinkansen, is a meditation on growing up in a fast moving, globalised world. Congratulations. Uniform rows of square blue seats. Coughs, unzipping of bags, a constant hum of the engine. It feels so amazing to have won this award. I feel so shocked but, and surprised, but also very proud to have won this award. So this uh, artwork was created when I went overseas to Japan. I actually left home three days after my grandmother died and it was a shock. And so I guess this video was a response. It was my response and how I was feeling in this moment, sitting on that bullet train in Japan. There's something about me that doesn't like losing stuff and that includes memories and moments and feelings. A, a way to explain my style is capturing moments and memories in short, videos. Moving on now to the Telstra General Painting Award. There were so many stunning entries this year and I do encourage you to explore them in our interactive virtual gallery after the winners are announced. And the 2020 winner of the Telstra General Painting Award is Adrian Jungler robertson Adrian is a landscape artist who paints his mother's country, Yalpra Kinu. His modest, deeply felt paintings are loaded with energy, drama and memories. He's feeling good and proud of himself. Welcome, thank you. Good Yeah, he wants to say thank you for for all the people yeah, to work here and supported him and all that. Congratulations, enjoy your award. Now it's time for the Telstra Emerging Artist Award judged the best artwork by an artist working in any medium who's within their first five years of art practice. This year's Telstra Emerging Artist Award goes to Cecilia Umbagai. Cecilia, a Warora woman from Moen German Western Australia, has depicted the Wanjana spirit of the Boab tree painting with ochre onto bark. Her work is based on traditional cave paintings. Winning this award this year actually caught me by surprise. Um, Excited that I actually won the Emerging Artist area. So where I got all my inspiration from is actually from the different artists and Auntie Leah. So I usually just learn and watch and get all my ideas from them. But then I also go back home and interpret it in my own way. It's so fantastic to see new, exciting artists being recognised for their work. Congratulations. And now, the big one, the 2020 Telstra Art Award. This is awarded to the artists considered by the judges to have created the most outstanding artwork in the exhibition. So before we announce the winner, let's hear from the CEO of Telstra, Andy Penn. Hi there. Well, we are again incredibly proud to be supporting the Telstra National Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander Art Awards. A partnership that goes back 29 years a partnership about which we are passionate because it provides a window 
into some of the most wonderful art and creativity of all of the artists. But we're bringing you this in a year which is far from normal. So I'm therefore additionally pleased that we've been able to create a virtual gallery so everybody in Australia and indeed around the world can experience this wonderful body of work personally. Thank you very much for supporting the event, but a particular thank you and congratulations to all of the participants, all of the finalists, and all of the winners. And with that, it's time to announce this year's winner of the Telstra Art Award. Please join me in congratulating Narol Jar, Tommy May, for his incredibly creative work and etching on metal and enamel. Work on Jar. Congratulations, Narol Jar. Narulja Tommy May is a senior Wadamajari man living in Fitzroy Crossing in Western Australia. This award is the culmination of a stunning 30-year practice. This painting depicts Wirikanja, a clay pan site on Tommy's country. Congratulations on your amazing work. <laughs> He feels proud and saying yeah, that it's yeah. been a yeah. long time coming winning this yeah. major prize in the Telstras. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. When Bro paints, he draws his inspiration from stories of his old people who have passed and also keep that story going and mm. you know with indigenous culture you can't paint another person country you will stick to your family line and mm. where your family comes from yeah 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 um yeah he loves the fact that it no longer hajaka, it's now, you know, with modern technology and the use of drills, makes carving and a lot of prints easier. But he would, bro was telling me when he paints, he make him forget a lot of things and he just think about that painting and that story and all the old people and he made you relax, you know. You got no worry ending. Yeah. Thank you very much. Congratulations to the winner of the 2020 Telstra Art Award and to all award winners and finalists of this year's exhibition. A big thank you to the Museum and Art Gallery of the Northern Territory and to the principal sponsor of the awards, Telstra. I'd encourage you all to check out the interactive virtual gallery on this website and discover some of the compelling works created by this year's artists. I'm Brooke Boney, thank you so much for joining me for this incredible event. It's been a privilege to be a part of it. Enjoy the art. <laughs>